Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Indeed, it's a joy and a privilege once again to be back. Amen. Praise the Lord. I've taken a weekly for exams, uh, a second degree in ministry studies. And thank God it's over with. Praise the Lord. But that is over with. But uh, right now, we are our political uh, election situation is not over with in the country. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have gone to the appeal court. And I think it's the last of the straw and the end of the rope. But yet, we have to be careful. I have a strong feeling that um, it will end at the appeal court. You know why? Because it will be too embarrassing to go back at the CCJ. But the, I want to warn the PUP, uh, don't take chances. Prepare for the CCJ and do whatever you have to do because you can't trust these people. Amen? They're so clever. Amen? Praise the Lord. Anyway, I trust that it will finish soon and uh, the declaration will be made by next week. And the president uh, Dr. Irfan Ali will be sworn in and um, whatever happens even before that I want to urge the PPC not to take the streets regardless of the trap don't take the streets no matter what don't ever take the streets and uh, they'll try to swing this thing any ele election petition need to be filed is the afternoon have to file election petition praise the Lord I just give you some warning based on the spirit realm what will happen uh, let's be careful, it's the last shot, they'll try everything to win this election. And no matter what. Anyway, the world has known and the world has seen and nobody will accept the AFC as the ruler of this nation and the winner of this election because we have all seen what has happened. Now, I'm a man of God, a prophet, and I believe in honesty, integrity, character. I believe also in fairness. And many Christians I've observed have stopped watching my videos on YouTube. And many Christians, in fact, majority of Christians have stopped watching my videos. They're angry with me because I'm not supporting the APNO AFC. But as a man of God, I cannot go for lies, cheating, fraud, bullyism. No, I will never be a part of that. And I speak plainly and bluntly. I will not sweep sins under the carpet. Amen? Praise the Lord. Okay, that's enough of politics this morning. And my message this morning, praise the Lord, my message this morning, overcoming addiction. Praise the Lord. But before I get into that, my wife will come in a few minutes, uh, overcoming addiction. Uh, why I have chosen such a topic, such a topic, in fact, this morning, that many have been emailing me and texting me and calling me about... Um, Many people are saying that for the past four months, because of this election situation in the country, many have turned to alcohol and drugs and witchcraft and opia and different things. But I want to tell you, these things cannot work. Be calm, be cool, be collective, and put your trust and confidence in God. Amen. At this time, my wife is going to come and she's going to read a, food, a portion of scriptures. Uh, but before that, uh, we're going to just pray before she do anything else this morning. Praise the Lord. Father God, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you thanks, we thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy and your great concern and the working of the Holy Spirit. I cover our lives under the precious blood this morning. I break every chain, every barrier, every fetter, every evil, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil, I command to go in the name of Jesus. I destroy every work of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare victory for not by might nor by power, but by the working of the Holy Spirit. I pray God this morning as we minister your words. I pray your covering of your precious blood. Fill the hedge around our lives. And I pray God you bless the scriptures and bless your words this morning. That many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be encouraged, and many will turn from the wicked ways. I ask in the precious name of Jesus. Praise the Lord and good morning to all our viewers. My scripture reading is taken from Psalm 104, verse 15. And wine that maketh glad the heart of a man, and all to make his face to shine, and bread which strengtheneth man's heart. Our next scripture is taken from Proverbs. Proverbs 20, verse 1. What? Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Amen. The next scripture is taken from
from Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5, verses 19. 19 to 20. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envyings, murderers, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And our next scripture is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. Knowing ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor emulate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor exterminators shall inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much for that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. As I said before, thank God for His Word. And it's over 140 something days in our country. We're still waiting uh, the results of the election to come. And you know, many businessmen are calling me and many people are saying, my pastor, I don't know what to do. Everything is stand still. They have the projects that stand still. They have the business. People don't want to invest. People don't want to do anything. And it's damaging the economy. And it's time enough that we get a president that people know that they're secure and able to move forward. In fact, I'm building a school right now to teach uh, uh, CAT and ACCA and computer classes and some other stuff. But uh, I put it on hold because you don't know what to do. You're waiting on the president to be sworn in to make the right choices and know what to do because if a country will get sanctions, people will, do, will just seize what they're doing. They don't be able to do anything. Praise the Lord. So uh, it's very important in our nation. As a man of God, I must speak about these things. Amen. Let's keep on praying in this beautiful country of ours. As I always say, we are at a breaking point of becoming one of the richest nations in the world. And even now, we are at a breaking point of becoming one of the rogue, uh, a destroyed, condemned nation in the world. The choice is yours, and but we cannot allow the just few rogue people to destroy this beautiful nation of ours. Amen. Praise the Lord. My topic this morning, I'm trusting God that... Uh, by next week, I won't have to talk about politics anymore. And I won't be distracted, and I'll get straight into teaching and preaching the Word of God freely. Amen? Praise the Lord. Our topic this morning is overcoming addiction. Overcoming addiction this morning. And there is a chemical culture this morning, my friends. Yes, there is a chemical a culture this morning. Constant advertising makes drinking look witty. Sex and fun. Alcohol is often considered essential for airline flights, business events, private parties and dates and weddings. Alcohol, weed and other drugs are often ticket to accept it by peers. Yes, is alcohol evil this morning, my friends? The Bible says in Proverbs 20, Verse 1, which my wife just read, Wine is a mucker, and bear is brawl, is a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise this morning. And Psalms 104, verse 15 says, God makes wine, the wine that gladdens the heart of man. Jesus changed water into wine. Before you tell me, I'm going to tell you, wine is a gift of our Creator. But becomes a curse uh, when misused. Yes, it becomes a curse when misused this morning, my friend. Misusing alcohol, getting drunk, uh, grouped in scripture with sins such as adultery, witchcraft, uh, swindling, homosexual acts, and uh, orgies, according to Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 and 20, and 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and 10 uh, this morning, my friends. Uh, yes, getting others drunk. Uh, 
Woe to him who give drink to his neighbors till they are drunk so they can gaze on their naked bodies according to Habakkuk 2.15. Yes, in the book of Proverbs, listen my son, be wise and keep your heart on the right path. Yes, be wise and keep your heart on the right path. Not join those who drink too much wine and gorge themselves on meat uh, for drunkards and gluttons become poor and drowsiness. Clothes men in rags. Yes, drowsiness. Clothes men in rags this morning. Yes, he, we, we, who, who has sorrow this morning? Who has strived this morning? Who has complaints this morning? Who has needless bruises this morning? Who has uh, shut bloodshot eye, eyes this morning? Those who linger over wine, who go go to sample brawls of mixed wine this morning, do not gaze at wine when it is red this morning, when it sparks in the cup, when it goes down smoothly, in the end it bites like a snake and poison like a viper this morning. Your eyes will see strange sight and your minds imagine confusing things. You will be like a ship, like a Sleeping, you will be one sleeping on the high seas, lying on top of the rigging. Yes, on the rigging. There hit me. There are lots of rigging going on in our country. Yes, <coughs> and you will say, but I am not hurt. They bit me, but I don't feel it. When, when will I wake up so I can find another drink? Yes, all these are found in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs, my friends, uh, drunkards harm this morning. It can be very harmful for a drunkard this morning. The harm of a drunkard this morning. If you have spiritual sins, uh, uh, physical damage, intellectual, uh, intellectual distortion this morning, financial ruin, emotional woes, uh, re re retaliation, conflict, uh, and Vocational failure this morning. Vocational failure you can have, my friends. Yes, in the book, the Bible tells us it's not for kings to drink wine and rulers to crave beer lest they drink and forget. The law decrees and deprive all the oppressed of the rights. And that is true in the book of Proverbs. In the book of Proverbs 4, 4 31, verse 4 and 5. And we can see what wine and drink is doing. I can remember a minister. Oh, he drunk wine and rum, and he conceded, and, and he says, uh, a PP of one election, uh, when he got sober, he went on the television, and he says he never said so. Can you imagine rum and wine and drink and alcohol? They can make people very stupid, yes. Uh, uh, priests and prophets uh, stagger from beer and are uh, debuffled uh, with wine. They stagger when seeing visions. Yes, uh, they stumble when rendering decisions. Yes, uh, many are stumble when rendering decisions. Uh, when they drink too many wine and get involved in witchcraft and obia and demonic forces, the mind is corrupt uh, and they don't know what they're doing and saying. Yes, uh, I know old age is one that we lose our memories and we cannot remember what we said and what we're doing. But yes, wine is much more damaging than alcohol. Yes, uh, two kinds of drunkards we have in our world today my friends yes party animals think it's fun and fun fun funny to get drunk they sin and risk harming themselves and others addicts addicts are controlled by craving and use alcohol drug to cope this morning their misuse of alcohol is not just a sin to repent them of but a disease to be treated yes i say my friends it is indeed a disease to be treated this morning yes there are higher risk this morning my friends uh, do you come from a racial ethnic group with wine rate of addiction this morning with very high rate of addiction this morning do you have an addicted close relative this morning have you had previous problems 
with alcohol or any drugs this morning. Many are smoking weed, many are sipping, sniffing cocaine, many are uh, drunkards, and many are doing all sorts of things, addicted to so many things this morning. If so, it's wise to avoid alcohol totally this morning. Uh, serving others this morning at, par at private parties, don't serve alcohol if you know a slugger will be there. At large public celebrations such as weddings, receptions, serve no alcohol or just enough uh, to toast the event. Uh, yes, I say it's just enough uh, to toast the event. Uh, I've seen at many weddings, I've heard at many weddings, people are being murdered and stabbed uh, and fighting and killing because when people get drunk, uh, they do all sorts of nonsense. Uh, if you choose never to drink alcohol, don't judge those who enjoy a drink. Uh, warning signs of alcohol addiction. I can tell in my young age, at the age of 18 years of age, I was employed with uh, the Marara Distillers Limited uh, in Guyana and I worked uh, with that company in the accounts department uh, for 11 years and I tell you when we have parties and get together I drink Pepsi or water. I, I never taste alcohol, I never get drunk, I never drink alcohol and you can vouch for that. Uh, and the, the, the chairman of uh, uh, DDL, Komal Ram Samaru, can vouch for that for me this morning. And many others, even Isu Pasad and, and many managers, uh, many uh, people I associated many years ago, like Krishna Mizir, uh, Dave Matura, and, and many people like um, Che Pandey, and these names, uh, probably these men are big, big, big persons uh, in, uh, in Canada and UK and in. in and in, in America, whatever, we really are right now. But I can remember those days, was wonderful days. Although I mix uh, among alcohol so much, uh, I never use that stuff. Uh, yes, that's control. Amen? Praise the Lord. I like to be sober at all times. Uh, warning signs of alcohol addiction this morning. High tolerance. Uh, we must have high tolerance. Uh, war warning uh, signs of alcohol addiction this morning. Yes, uh, high tolerance, blockouts, uh, uh, preoccupation, used to relax, uh, uh, drinking alone, yes, uh, gulping, drinking, protecting, uh, protecting supplies uh, and laws of control this morning. Yes, crossing the line this morning. Yes, uh, many are crossing the line this morning. It, 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 is, it is filled with empty spaces. Uh, yes, you hear the fishman is passing on the road and you have Koras and Gilbach and Snapper. Yes, I live right to the right road, right road area and you hear all these backgrounds. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, they have loudspeaker selling fish now. Praise the Lord. Part of any successful gathering this morning, it is what you look forward to at the end of a, a quarreling week or day, my friends. It is a thing that relaxes you, uh, lubricates you this morning, free, frees you, uh, satisfies you, and prepares you when you have crossed the line from responsibility to irresponsible drinking this morning. Have you crossed the line this morning? I received many calls from housewives and their husband are drinking whole day and knocking domino and talking about election whole day and they're just drinking and abusing and killing themselves with rum. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, it's time because it's over four months. They hit me, this hit, they hit me, will you say, but I'm not hurt. Uh, yes, that's the wine and that's the alcohol. They beat me, but I didn't feel it. When will I wake up so I can find another drink? And Proverbs 23, verse 35. Come, each one cries, let us get wine. Let us drink our fill of beer. Uh, and to come to each one cries, let me get wine. Let us drink our fill of beer. And tomorrow will be like today or even far better according to Isaiah chapter 56. Verse 10 and 12 this morning, addictive behaviors. Yes, we have many addictive behaviors in our nation and around the world today. Denial, I only use once, I only use once in a while. I could quit any time. Okay, life's okay. My troubles aren't from drinking, dishonesty, lying, or high, a high habit. Get approval, stealing to pay for for habit uh, manipulation this morning, getting your way by pray by playing on others, uh, 
fear guilting people this morning. Yes, my friends, uh, it's become, it has become a family disease in our world today. Yes, uh, indeed, it has become a family disease in our world. And able addicted, addicted by lying and fixing denial, uh, denial of reality this morning. Self-deception, worry over addiction, Bill's family obsession this morning will curl with curling addiction. Yes, my friends, with nagging, accusing, empty threats this morning, anger at addicted for wounding you, blaming yourself for addiction, addiction problem, addicted problem this morning. Yes, sir. Are you under the influence this morning, my friends? I ask the question again this morning. Are you under the uh, 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 under the, the influence this morning, my friends? Drunkard will not inherit the kingdom of God. I say drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God according to 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Verse 10 this morning, we do not belong to the night or to the darkness. Those who get drunk, get drunk at night. According to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 5 to 7 this morning. Don't get drunk on wine, which leads to uh, the the democracy this morning yes uh, instead be filled with the spirit uh, according to Ephesians chapter 5 this morning yes my friends uh, I tell you the first step this morning we admit uh, that we were powerless this morning our addiction uh, our lives have become unmanageable this morning yes our lives uh, has become unmanageable this morning yes my friends uh, do not do what I want, but do the very thing I hate this morning. Yes, my friends, Romans chapter 7, verse 7 to 15 and 24 tells us, I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate this morning. Wretched man that I am who will deliver me from the body of debtor. Yes, sir. yes, who will deliver me from the body of debtor. Yes, my friends, this morning, second step this morning, we came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity this morning. Yes, my friends, power belongs to God according to Psalms chapter 62 verse 11 this morning. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord this morning. Uh, step number three this morning, we made a decision to turn our lives and our will over to the care of God this morning. Yes, if anyone will come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me according to the word of God. We will, if you, your will be done this morning according to Matthew chapter 6 verse 10 this morning will you say your will be done father in my life this morning my friends and step number four this morning we make a searching and a fearless moral inventory of ourselves this morning search me god and know my heart test me and know my anxious thoughts this morning see if there is any offensive way in me said the lord and lead me in the paths of everlasting in the, in the way and lead me in in the way of lasting this morning step number five my friends this morning we admit to god to ourselves and to other human beings that the extent nature of our wrongs this morning i acknowledge my sin to you and give and, and you forgive the guilt of my sin this morning according to sir psalms chapter 32 Verse 5 this morning, I know my transgressions this morning. Psalms 51 verse 3, confess your sins to each other and you may be healed this morning. Yes, my friends, uh, step number six this morning, we are entirely ready to have move, move, remove uh, all these defects uh, of character of character this morning. Yes, uh, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Uh, do not offer any part of yourselves uh, to sin as an instrument of wickedness this morning, but rather offer yourselves to God. I say offer yourselves 
not to sin this morning, but offer yourself to God, my friends. Step number seven this morning, we humbly ask him to remove our shortcomings this morning. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow this morning, creating me a pure heart. Oh God, grant me a willing spirit this morning. Keep your servant from willful sins this morning. May they know not, may they not rule over me this morning. And step number eight this morning, we made a list of all the person we have harmed and become willing to make amends out to them, this, them all this morning. Any man or woman who wrongs another is guilty and must confess their sin this morning. They must make full restitution for the wrong they have done, add a fifth to the value of it and give it all to the person they have wronged this morning according to Numbers chapter 5, verse 6 and 7 and the ninth step this morning. We make direct amends to such people whether possible wherever possible except uh, when we do not we, we do will in injure them or others this morning are you injuring other people with your wrongdoings this morning my friends if you remember that your brother has something against you Go and be reconciled to your brother this morning, my friends. If I have cheated anybody, I will pay back four times the amount according to Luke chapter 19 verse 8 this morning. And step number 10 this morning, my friends, we continue to take personal inventory. Yes, and when we were among prompted, uh, promptly admitted this morning, if we claim to be without sin this morning, we deceive ourselves and it truth is not in us if we confess our sins this morning he is faithful and just to with the will to forgive us and to and to purify us from all unrighteousness this morning according to John chapter 1 verse 8 and 9 this morning step number 11 this morning we sought uh, uh, through prayer and meditation to improve our conscience uh, con our conscience our conscious contact with God praying only for knowledge uh, or to his will for us uh, and the power to carry that out this morning yes my friends uh, and the 12th step this morning having had a spiritual awakening this morning as a result of these steps we try to carry this message to others and to practice these principles in all our affairs this morning are you doing that this morning tell how much God has done for you freely you have received and freely uh, give this morning continue in what you have learned this morning according to 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 14 the 12 steps this morning yes admit uh, inability this morning believe in power surrender to God this morning a moral inventory confess wrongs ready for change this morning ask God for change my friends this morning list those list you, those you hurt uh, make amends this morning keep doing all this uh, pray and meditate uh, help other addicts this morning Yes, help others with addiction this morning. That is what God wants us to do this morning. Yes, my friends, hallelujah. This time, we're going to pray this morning. Oh, Father God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you thanks this morning. I will continue this message tomorrow with part two. Yes, part two will be continued tomorrow. Father God, we give you praise. We give you glory. <laughs> we give you honor. We give you thanks. We thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy and your great concern and the working of the Holy Spirit, oh Father. I pray, God, this morning, those who are sick this morning, that you heal them from every every addiction this morning, whether alcohol this morning, whether drugs, uh, <laughs> whether cocaine or marijuana or sexual abuse or whatever the case may be this morning. I send for the healing virtue yes, upon Lord. your people this morning. Set all those who are addicted free this morning, whom the sun set free is free indeed this morning. Those who are sick in their homes, I send forth healing in the mighty name of Jesus. For you was wounded for our transgressions, you was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon thee, and by your stripes we are healed this morning, beloved. The Bible tells us that healing is the children's bread and the first covenant 
covenant uh, he make with man was the covenant of healing this morning. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you richly. Have a great day in the name of Jesus. See you tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.